This is Sean, Gulf Coast and Beyond. A very cold day in Chatsworth, Georgia. I'm at the Resaca Confederate Cemetery, and uh, we're going to walk around, and um, you can hear the birds. There's hundreds of birds flying around right now, and um, it's very, uh, very, very cold. And uh, we're going to walk around for a minute, and uh, this is just part of the part of the tour here in Chatsworth, and um, we're going to be investigating tonight at the uh, the Wright Hotel. So let's take a walk around, see what we can do. Here's the uh, the entrance right here, and uh, you can look at the wall and look at the. We're, we're kind of like down in a valley right now. Uh, the birds seem to have calmed down a little bit, so we'll walk around for a minute. Here's a marker right in here of Mary J. Green in remembrance and appreciation for her service, dedication, location, and collecting the remains of the soldiers who died in the Resaca battlefield, and reentering the plot of land that would become the the first Confederate cemetery in Georgia. United Daughters of Confederacy, 2008. You can still see a little powder on the ground from uh, uh, from the snow. And look at this, man. I'm the only one out here. This is crazy. It's kind of just out here by itself. And this right here, look at this. It's a place to be brave. And uh, here's a thing. Here's a little uh, little thing on the Confederate cemetery. A lot of history out here, and, and I, we're actually right by the Trail of Tears, too. So, we're going to walk around for a minute. And look at these unknown Confederate soldiers. These are all unknown. All unknown. Unknown. I mean, can you imagine your... Go into your final resting place and unknown. So powder on the ground here. Unknown. And uh, there's a cross right here. Uh, to the unknown dead. Some more. We'll walk over here too. I actually brought a piece of. Uh, Something like a K2 meter. I'm going to see if I can get a, get a hit out here. Because there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of history out here. And, you know, make no mistake, anything in war... Uh, as unpleasant as it was and things that happened in history that uh, we're not proud of. Um, there were still people. There's still people that passed away. People that fought for the good. People that fought for the bad. Um, uh... Nothing's good about war, anyway, but it's still part of history, and uh, some unpleasant as it was, it still is. People were still people. People had feelings. People pass away. And uh, there's a little bridge right here. Look at this. I'm gonna walk over on this side now, and this is, like I said, man, we're just kind of. It's cold. I mean, my hands are freezing. And uh, we'll uh, we'll walk over there and see what's up with that. So, more to follow. And here's some more right here. Unknown KY. Is that Kentucky? And some more unknown soldier. And we're off to the upper left of the cemetery. Yeah, here's one right here. Sergeant Bob Harrett. Second Regiment. This must be Kentucky, I'm thinking. Unknown Kentucky. There's a big marker over here. Let's go check this out. My hands are getting really cold. What this is right here. Confederate soldiers. Yeah. It's cold guys and girls. It's cold. And uh, I mean, you can see you can see how big this place is. It's massive. And. Uh, Kind of a weird looking tree. Look at the root, the root right there. And uh, walk around. We'll take some pictures. I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, well, a little bit of paranormal investigating. So we'll see. And now we're gonna go to the battlefield next. 
And uh, let's see. At least the wind's not blowing, man, because it's really, really freaking cold. So we'll walk around a little bit. We'll walk to the other side. Okay, we're going to walk over to the the farther side to the left coming in. And you still see fresh powder on the ground. And uh, I'm going to see what these stones are over here. And we're probably going to wrap it up. Uh, getting kind of soft over here. Ground is. Yeah, unknown. These are all unknown. And uh, there's Tennessee right there, unknown. And some more. More there. So. Well, hey, this is Sean again with Gulf Coast and Beyond. Thanks for joining me out here. Um, it's really cold. Um, a lot of unknown graves, a lot of unknown, and uh, kind of sad. We'll never know who they are. But, you know, again, it's uh, nothing good in war, any kind of war. So uh, thanks for joining me. I'm going to do a little paranormal experiment out here, so we'll see. Take care. Look at these birds, hundreds of them. Look at this. Wow. They were out here earlier when I started filming. It's crazy. Okay, out here is the uh, Rusaka battlefield, and you can see how big this place was. And from what I understand, this is one of the probably most brutal and uh, brutal battles, the bloodiest battles of the Civil War. And you can see how big this field is. And just to think, man, years ago there was just cannon fire and guns and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, so this is pretty amazing. And it's cold. <laughs> Make no mistake, it's freaking cold. My fingers are cold. I prefer to do filming and ghost hunting when it's a little warmer, but this is pretty crazy. And uh, there's some more over there you can see. And uh, pretty cool. It's cold. I'll tell you something. The trail of tears is right behind me on the other side of the of the highway here. This whole this whole place is haunted. You gotta excuse the wind noise. This whole place is haunted. Uh, there's no question. Some of the bloodiest battles, the Trail of Tears, it's all right here. Kind of like Savannah, Georgia. That whole town is haunted. St. Augustine, the whole town is haunted. You can go to any restaurant, <laughs> go upstairs, use your voice recorder, you'll get an answer. So, all right, we're going to find a trail. Man, there's some trails over there. It's very, very, very cold. I'm going to try to do a uh, paranormal experiment on one of the trails. I'm going to do a little bit of walking. But this is the, uh, there's like a little uh, bathrooms and stuff like that here. But I'm going to, uh, should have brought some gloves. Next time I will. But I'm going to do some walking on a trail. And I'm going to uh, shoot some video on my GoPro. And probably a little bit on this camera here, on my phone here. So, more to follow. And here's uh, some more of the battlefield here as I'm as I'm leaving. Uh, we'll walk over here where these little cannon things are. Here's some more right here of the. Uh, there's a sign right here. Let's check it out. 
it is just a big open field, but man, this place was uh, nuts at one time. I'm going to show you the sign right here. Yeah, it's like yeah, historical site. So it, here's your timeline. If you can see it, I'll get close on it. Uh, read the whole thing. Uh, 1864, uh, General Johnson's Confederate Army engaged Rocky Face Ridge. So this all happened out here. And uh, um, we're going to walk over to the uh, where those cannons are. But I think they're just like little displays. I don't think they're real cannons. But we'll walk over there real quick. Here's another look right here. Sorry for the wind noise. This is actually very beautiful. Very, very cool. Here we are a little closer here. And this is where the uh, simulated cannons would be firing over that direction. Again, sorry for the wind noise. It's really windy the whole And then there's one over here. It's, uh looks like it would fire over in that direction. And uh, pretty amazing. What's even more amazing is I'm the only one out here, <laughs> probably because it's cold. And uh, and it's absolutely just, I, I can't imagine what you find out here at the metal detector. I'm sure it's already been done, but uh, uh, <laughs> amazing and absolutely beautiful. I can imagine just being out here in the spring and just uh, when it's not so cold, do some ghost hunting. Because you better believe there's uh, 50,000, I think, was the number, uh, dead throughout the throughout this area in Rosaka. Um, that's a lot, and a lot are unknown, so that's going to really ramp up activity. So, Rosaka Battlefield, everybody, here you go. Beautiful and cold. All right, so here's one of the trails, uh, uh, point seven, and uh, and I am told, I mean, you just look, um, this whole place, this whole, you know, like I said, the Trail of Tears is just not far from here, and this, then you can look right here. Imagine taking some night photos out here, you would probably get some Civil War soldiers. But I'm gonna walk around a little bit, try to experiment, and, uh, there's just talking about the cemetery there in Fort Wayne. That's something else I'm going to talk about. So uh, we're going to walk around for a minute. And uh, I'm going to try not to shake the GoPro too much. I don't like shaky video. But I'm going to walk kind of slow. We're going to walk through here. I'm going to take some pictures. Again, it's very cold. You can still see a little powder on the ground. And... Uh, walk up here real quick see what's up here and uh, at least the sun's out it's warming up a little bit uh. and it's cold this just goes around take some pictures just wanted to show you this it's like a little bonus footage of the trails and uh, it'd be cool in the springtime to come out here and maybe bring some uh, bring some equipment out and see <laughs> 